Hello, Model Railroaders. It's John with John's Railroad. Um, I'm here to give you the final shots of my uh, 3D printed F7. Uh, this is kind of where it's, I'm kind of done with it for now. I printed all the pieces I could other than couplers. And then of course, little detail pieces. I got some rear roof pieces I'm gonna make. I don't have them, I just gotta make stuff. But this is all that it came with, the plans that I that I downloaded. And since I enlarged everything, this is everything I've got. I do have some pieces for the front bumper and a little push bumper in the front. I just don't have those on right now um, because I didn't have no way to fasten them on there, but I do have them. But this is the way it's gonna sit for a while. Um, I'm going to kind of go over some things with you. It's it again. It's really hard for me to show the uh, size of this thing. Yeah, I'm going to stand way back, and you can see it next to my printer. It's twice as wide as my long as my printer is wide, and it's it's big. It's like I say, it's over a little over 24 inches long, and with the couplers, it'll be even longer yet. And I got to put some steps on the back that I did not have. I got to make, but. Um, and this thing, it's it's absolutely awesome. It's I, I at the end of this video, you'll see a picture of me trying to li hold it up and lift it up with my hand. That gives you an idea how big the the train is. It takes all my hand to straddle across the top of the thing. So it's quite it's quite large, and it it, it weighs about probably five pounds if I had to guess. I used a couple rolls of filament. Uh, they're two kilogram ro ro uh, rolls. And it, um, I used all of it to do this thing. It took quite a bit. And that's not just because of um, uh, experimenting, but some of it was just I had some flaws in some of the um, prints that I wanted to redo things. So I, it's, it's got quite a bit of um, uh, PLA material in this thing. It is hollow inside, of course. And it does have cutouts to put motors in it if I was ever to create some track that it could run on. It'd have to be battery powered uh, because it does. I, there's no way to conduct electricity with this thing unless I machine some wheels or something. But everything worked very well. I did a ton of slicing. And if you do 3D printing, you'll know what slicing means to get the, everything to work. So I've got uh, quite a few more details I'm gonna print over time that I don't have. I want to print grab handles, steps going up the side and the front there, and over the tops of the windows, windshield wipers, all kinds of things like that. Uh, grab irons on the sides by the doors and etc. So, but uh, for now, this is everything I had with uh, the plans that I had. And I'm, I'm gonna put a link of the plans in my, um, uh, description so check it out i'll put an actual link in there if you want to download the this thing now keep in mind when you get it it's just a little guy it's probably only about five six inches long at the at most so that's when you go to blow it up it's quite a bit more work than just blowing it up there's a lot of things you got to do trim cut and make happen if you print it small you won't have to do a lot of that stuff because it's it's already kind of put them together in certain pieces where it would print in small pieces, but large pieces it won't print properly. So anyways, that's kind of where this is at. And I, I'm gonna just look at the end of this video. There's gonna be a ton of pictures of this thing of all all, all four sides. And it's, um, I'm gonna kind of try and walk around this a little bit. I can't get, so you kind of see whole thing yeah it's kind of not the best angles I got a chair right in the way there that I should have moved but um, there's a lot of things that can be done to make it better detail wise and things but for what my display purpose of this whole model was to do this thing was actually just to have something that was kind of freakishly big you know and I'll be honest even on my, as I'm looking at it through my camera it looks kind of short here this thing is huge I'm telling you, it's a big piece of equipment. You know, um, if you set this thing next to my semis back there on the wall, this thing, it's as long as, um, like I said in the first video, it's longer than the trailer and probably almost to the center of the front door of that cab over a Transtar model up there. It's big. And I think what this thing would really look neat, and I thought about doing is, 
if I was to build a semi-model, a heavy-duty hauler, um, and had one of those trailers that had, that they use for like pulling uh, cats and bulldozers, cranes and earth movers, put this on there. I think it would look absolutely awesome because it is, it is true to scale to 125th scale. So it's about a half inch wider than a normal G scale, a little taller also. The track, I try, did try setting it on a piece of G scale track. It really looked bad. It looked weird. And it doesn't, the wheels are wider. They straddle on both sides of the uh, track. So it does need some special track that I don't have. And I am not going to take time to try and make metal track out of it. I am going to make a three or four foot section of plast, uh, PLA track just to set it on. And then I'm going to kind of diorama around the base of the whole train. So it um, you can, it looks like it's sitting in uh, dirt with a track and some, um, you know, uh, rocks around the track, uh, the um, ties and stuff like that, just to give it kind of a, a more realistic look. I might even make a little bridge to set it on when it's on the shelf, just to give it something. But anyways, I just wanted you guys to see this, you know, from this side, you know, the, what it looks like kind of complete. And I just wish I could really show the real size of this or get you guys to really get a grasp on how big this thing is. So, because as I'm even looking at this right now, it doesn't look, on my camera, it does not look as big as it actually is in person. So it's, it's a monster, it's big. So now my next plans, what I'm thinking about doing is I have plans I, for a switcher I found somewhere else. Um, again, it's one of those things that I would have to really manipulate it to get it to print this size. I, it will be this size again, uh, the switcher. And I can't remember which one I found. I think it was a SW2 uh, two, um, or 1200 or something. I just can't remember. Well, it was the EMD. So, but anyways, that's kind of something else I was thinking about and possibly a car, a hopper car or a box car or a caboose or something. And, but I, as far as this is right now, I am going to um, sit back and let it probably sit on my shelf for a while. It could even be a year before I decide what, how I'm going to paint this thing because it's not glued together. None of this is solid. I, all I have to do is the whole bottom comes off with screws and the body, believe it or not, all three sections of the body are duct taped. Very, uh, a pretty good amount of duct tape, I should say, all the way around the inside of the body, holding it together. And it's still really strong. And that, that uh, PLA, it's quite thick. So I would say that the body itself is about an eighth of an inch thick anyway, so it's not really flexible. Um, and it does line up flawlessly perfect. When I do go to glue it, you will not see a seam at all. It actually butts up really, really tight. So it's, it's pretty nice that way. So anyways, I just want you guys to see this. This is the final video for this. You might see pictures in the future of things next to it, you know, as I use for a size comparison, because this is kind of one of the biggest train things I've ever had, other than I would like to still make that big giant box car one day that I'm love to do I just have not even started anything like that so all right well if you guys have any questions remember there's that link in my description so you can download one of these yourself and see what's all there and you'll see what I had to deal with and then um, obviously there's going to be some things you're going to have to figure out but otherwise if you have any questions feel free to ask me any questions send me a uh, some kind of an email or just a comment so I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you very much.